doubt that events of yesterday have left Kenya perusing the ugly pages of media violation. Francis Otomoa, KTN News, Nairobi. All right, that story there is also in our local dailies and, of course, the standard on page 7, the nation on page 4. And on Star, there is a cartoon that I would like us to talk about, uh, if we could just get it uh, here. So we can see um, the quote, the handshake, has not tricked, trickled down yet. And, of course, we can see people being clo clobbered, including, you know, journalists. For me, this is unacceptable, of course, being a journalist. I don't even know where to start, so I'll just let you comment on this, Deki. Yes, it is a very unfortunate situation based on the fact that we as a nation have prided ourselves, you know, in allowing the media to have its freedom to be able to, you know, be the watchdog as, as it were. Yeah. But <clears throat> definitely that we have seen the influence of politics that seems to muzzle that freedom constantly and again and again being reinforced. So it, these are very difficult moments for us as Kenyans and of course even for, you know, the media houses and journalism per se. But we also, you know, have to continue to reinforce the, the understanding that it is the political environment that we find ourselves in, you know, constantly going on and on and on and the excesses of the executive, you know, that have decided that, you know, they will not regard any other institution, whether it is the judicial system or whether it is the media. And of course, you know, if the, if the, if the executive does not have regard for the rule of law and even for the judiciary, then, you know, they will definitely not have regard for anyone who seems to be coming and standing in between them and where they want to go in as far as their agendas is concerned. Mm. And so I think I would say like, you know, what Kefa had said, before that we the people it is time for us to stand up and take the nation back and you know have the nation that we desire to have it is not right for us to continue watching this going on and on because the institutions that have been granted the power to be able to execute some of these duties seems like they have they do not have the power anymore because they've been handicapped by the you know by the by the executive and therefore it's time for maybe the people to step up to the plate and be able to reclaim and redeem this nation back all right Kefa, we are ranked you know, side to side with Afghanistan, Iraq. At this point, you're questioning, is media freedom even there? We are worse, actually, we are even worse than Iraq and Afghanistan. I say, what happens here? Now, if you look at that cartoon, it's very interesting because you see that the handshake, you know, is above. It's just in the limelight that everybody sees. Yes. But then beneath it, underneath, there are so many heinous crimes happening, you know, that people cannot even see what's happening exactly. Yes. So that the handshake was simply to cover up Hmm? you know, to cover up the evil that is still happening, you know, yeah. behind the scenes. And it's unfortunate. And I want people to start being held, you know, individually accountable to what happens. Because now the new constitution allows you to pursue even an individual officer that, you know, uh, mistreats you during operation. When you see what happened, you know, uh, Sophia Wanuna is an innocent soul that is just covering an event for Kenyans to see what's happening. Yeah. Now, if you see the treatment, the kind of force they get from the police officers, you wonder, is it... Is it necessary? Do we need it? What is wrong? What is happening? And the cover that they used to enjoy in the old, you know, the old constitution that you could do something and then run and you know hide under the umbrella of the government, so that we, as we, we when we want to know to uh, get the remedies, we have to sue the attorney general on your behalf is gone. We can pursue individually, and this is why I also even uh, you know, disagree with the police officer. Because remember, you remember the captain who was flying, you know, the flight to Dubai, you see, was given orders to go with Miguna, and he refused to take those orders on an individual basis. He said, I cannot go with this person. I have to fly this plane with the passengers without this person. And that happened. You see, even police officers have a duty individually, you see, mm -hmm. not to allow orders which they know are against the law, you see. They should not operate within those orders which themselves, they understand violates the law, violates the individual's right that we have. Because then when you just take those orders and then apply them, what do you expect? And these are the people we were fighting for the other day to have a pay rise. Do they even deserve any pay in this country? If this is what they're going to do with the taxpayers' money, those who are paying them tax are the people they mishandled the F that way. I think it is wrong. This handshake would have not even happened in the first place. You saw how Raila was humiliated at the scene, you see? Even wonder then, what was the essence, you see? What was it? when Uru outrightly refused to pick his calls and say that will not happen. Mm -hmm. I think this country, uh, we have just decided that even though we have laws, even though we have institution, but some individuals are superior to the laws and constitution. That is what's happening. So that what they say is what will run this nation. 
You see, if that is the way we are going to move as a country, we need to be worried because this will not continue for long. Even the most vulnerable in the society, it reaches a point when they reach us, you know, at the breaking point, they will say enough is enough. And when it comes to that scene, this country will never be the same. And you know, what is sad is one, you know, there's a way you can communicate and tell people you have to leave without using force. We listen, we're not kids, we're not, you know, uh, we understand how things work. And then to make